So a question I'm asked um, reasonably regularly, for me anyway, is how do you get started in armoring? What do I need to do? Um, and the answer um, I give when I've seen people face to face um, often is met with, oh yeah, 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 thanks for that. And it's not the answer that they wanted. They wanted to know some sort of magic formula, what tools and equipment to get. Bear in mind, these are folk often, which is why I give this answer, who not because they're lazy or whatever, but just because of their circumstances, haven't actually done anything yet. They're kind of, they like the idea of it, the mysticism of hot steel, and smashing stuff about and making wonderful shapes and so on appeals, but they haven't actually done anything other than sort of um, have a quick go on a computer game, you know, they've sort of got Skyrim and done some blacksmithing or something like this. And I'm not tipping scorn on what they've done at all, because we've anybody that's done this sort of stuff has been in the same situation. Um, what, what, what the advice I give though is based off of that point and I can see sometimes it's a bit disappointing so apologies up front if this video is a little disappointing if you're expecting a secret formula because um, it kind of isn't one but kind of is at the same time so what I thought I'd do first off is show the very first bit of metal work that I can remember making in my adult life I think I made a toast rack when I was a kid uh, in a um, metal shop but this is the first thing I did on my own. So here it is in all of its magnificence. I'll try and catch the light on that. There we go. A wonderful knife. Can that be seen? Looks pitch black on. There we go. We'll get the light. There we are. So there's the blade, I think, if it can be called a blade. Probably the loosest term of a blade. And at the end here is the vagueness of the handle. Now, I made this armed with a claw hammer, um, a brick a rock and a little handheld butane heater that um, I think chefs use on their food to crisp things up on the edges. Um, I was chuffed to nuts with it. It was, um, it, well, all I can compare it to is the monkeys in 2001 touching the obelisk. The, the heavens opened, the light hit me and I thought, you know what, this is amazing. And I loved this thing. Um, I think to my um, shame, I threw it away at some point because it was awful. But um, I found it again, it was like, bloody hell. So it now has pride of place on my shelf behind me um, to, to, I don't know, just because it's kind of fun and it, this was brilliant when I made it. I was absolutely chuffed to bits with it. So, assuming you're at that point just before you've touched the obelisk in 2001, and for all you youngsters, you're going to have to watch 2001 Space Odyssey to know what I'm talking about. Um, the, the advice is, is just get on and do something. Um, if you have got no tools, no equipment, other than a, a, a vague desire that well, armoring could be for me, it seems kind of interesting, just get into it and start doing something. Um, nowadays, uh, we have obviously forums, the internet, um, or was it forums on the internet, um, all these things. Back in the day, none of those resources existed. I think there was Brian Price's The uh, Techniques of, the medieval, of Medieval Armor Reproduction it was about the only book and some videos by Eric uh, Dubé, Eric Dube. I'm sorry, Eric, if I've butchered your surname and you ever see this video. It wasn't on purpose. They were a godsend, by the way, absolutely fantastic. And that was kind of the only real resources that existed, certainly in, in the popular market. So my advice really is, is, is surround yourself with those sorts of resources. Go on the internet, look at what people are making. Look at the shapes and so on of the actual medieval armour, not what people have made uh, as well, although, you know, like I say, do that first. Look at, uh, look at medieval armour, look at the shapes, gain a critical eye for what's going on, and your appreciation of what you would like to create will be up here somewhere. Your skill will be down here somewhere, and that gap can seem impossible to get past, but in time it'll, it'll, it'll shrink down. It'll take years, but it'll shrink down. So do that. Learn to draw the shapes of the arm. Have some fun doing some drawing. Um, teach yourself to draw because it doesn't hurt. And, and just do some drawings of the shapes and, and things like that. If, if you don't have a workshop, um, you can always make mail. Um, you don't need a workshop for that. But even a step back from that, let's get some children's plaster scene and try to create little maquette versions of armour. See if you can create the shapes, gain an appreciation for just how difficult it is to shift something so that it creates a shape like this placard on the um, breastplate here. Um, it, it, it's hard work, it's difficult. It's not impossible, but it's hard. Start to do those things. And, and just see if, if, if you can, 
if you're interested enough to do that, because if you are, then you'll be interested enough potentially for the long slog that it is to go from producing armor-shaped objects to producing something that looks kind of good and your mates say well done, to then starts to look good and other people go, wow, that's, you know, people whose opinions have got real weight behind them go, wow, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Um, it takes a long time and there's no point in just jumping in and buying a load of tools and then discovering actually you can only get out to the workshop once every three months. You know, you, you, you're, you're not going to become the next Helmschmeid um, dynasty based on going out once every three months. There's no hardship or no shame to that, but it's the reality of it. So just have, have a bit of fun in the armour community. Learn about its shapes, draw it, watch videos now, YouTube and all this lot. Um, just, just have some fun learning about the armour would be my first thing. I'd, I'd suggest wear some armor. If you've got friends who have got armor and stuff like this in, in reenactment groups, SCA, LARP, whatever, have some fun wearing the stuff. Get a feel for what it moves like and how it goes on. And all of this, if you can be bothered to do that, that means you're likely to be bothered to go into the long slog. Then you can start getting the tools and the equipment and building up this repertoire of stuff. But for that first stage, if you really are at that first bit of how do I get into armoring, that is my honest advice. Just get into the community, the armoring community. Look on the internet, draw some of the stuff, see if you can make some out of plasticine or modeling clay or whatever, aluminium, foil, all these things. See if you can create the shapes and um, see how you get on and just have fun and then if you do that then you know that actually you are up for the hard slog um, that is armoring and um, you carry on on your journey and have some fun and have that moment if I can find it of looking back uh, years later at your um, earliest pieces of work and um, you know marveling at it but being grateful that you did it this was great fun this was probably one of the funnest things I've ever made and it was like wow this is amazing um, you know Good Lord. But there we go. So look, I hope that was useful to you. I know it's not quite what people want to hear. They want a magic formula, but kind of the magic formula is just make a start, have a bit of fun and see if it makes a way for you. So best of luck, stick with it and um, happy hammering, I suppose.